Hey, what's up? This is Josiah, host of the podcast, Josiah's Voice on Black Filmmaking. Take a look at this clip with my latest guest, Tiffany Silver Tucker, independent writer and filmmaker, as we discuss how she balances marriage with her filmmaking career. Take a listen. How has creating film, uh, films and television in Otis Wise, how has that brought, how has that strengthened your marriage? Well, you definitely mature in marriage as well because you have to be able to separate business from marriage. And so, you know, we live in a Christian home. And so Jamal is the head. And so, you know, I'm submissive and I know that's a taboo word, but I really do try my best to be submissive and to be led by him. And all so my, all my subscribers just went to all <laughs> everyone just to, no, I'm kidding. I know it. I'm I know not exactly what you mean. I just there is no go no according to his vision as best as I can. And you know, God and works collaborators. with both. And your collaborators yes. together. Uh, yes. Yes. And so now when you think about content creation, I am at the helm of that. Yeah. <laughs> and so for sure, yeah. There has to be a separation where it's not me just being bossy and talking right. to him in a way that may make him feel uncomfortable. And so I have to adjust. But also, too, there has to still be a level of professionalism where we need to get things done. And so when I have a vision, I want to see that vision come to light. So there has to be order. And so we've had to grow and learn how to separate family life from the professional life. And that started back with Stealth the Movie. Again, we have grown tremendously from trying to be producers as husband and wife then to now being producers, you know, with Otis Wise and with mm -hmm. other projects, you know, that I can't speak about that we're working on. And it's so amazing. My son even does voice acting, you yep. know, he makes little noises <laughs> that we use, but it really is a family thing. And it just brings me so much joy to, you know, to be able to wake up and be creative with, you know, the man that I said I, I do a decade ago, over a decade ago, mm -hmm. and us still getting excited. And he even just an hour ago, or before we started actually, he was in Malachi's closet recording his voiceovers mm. for Otis Wise. And it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, you know, we try our best to just live in the moment and have fun and, and create memories with these projects. And even when we were in San Francisco, Mm -hmm. One Saturday, I believe it was raining, and we sat and wrote 13 scripts. Wow. This was long before Malachi. Okay. But we just sat there and just one script after another, just, you know, bouncing ideas off of one another. And, you know, Jamal always has these amazing tell-all stories from the past, way back when, when he, he was a child. And... I am big on if I hear it, I'll ask, can I use that in something? And I'll go and put that <laughs> in one of my stories. And so it works out now that he is leading us in a sense with these scripts. He wrote, I believe the majority of the scripts. Wow. Keon wrote the last, Jamal wrote the pilot script. Keon wrote the final script. And the final script is so so meaty and, and it has so much in it so we had to go back to the beginning scripts and adjust wow and so i wrote the scripts mostly in between so it's fun working with him and you know i wouldn't have it any other way you know he does have other goals and dreams and aspirations that he wants to pursue and i respect that and i cheer him on i want him to pursue them mm -hmm. right now he feels he should help me and be a part of what I'm doing. And I'm, and I'm so blessed and humbled by him being a part of it. I I love that. And, and I, I know that cause I've, I've seen it like, you know, guys, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. No, I've, I've seen Tiffany and Jamal have tough times on set that that's real. 
you know, it happens. There's miscommunication. There's heads, but, you know, I see it this way or why didn't you? And you got to it happens. So I, I I've seen firsthand them working at, you know, two heads are better than one. Them figuring out how to be of one mind on something to get the shot. You know, is this the best line? Can we tweak it? Is this the best person? You know, whatever the case, you know, is, you know, can we invest in this piece of equipment? Whatever the case may have been. Um, and I don't know if it was you guys. It might have been you guys to your even your point about submission. That comes to mind also from a creative standpoint, because I think with you guys, I thought I learned one way to look at that was to see each other as like the direct pipeline or conduit for whatever it is you or, or they do best. Like, absolutely. I don't know if that it sounds like, okay, that makes, I hope that makes sense. Absolutely, to those yeah. listening. And, and if you want to work with your partner, you have to champion one another, yes. even in those moments where you just want to throw in the towel, you know, you have to again, show grace and mercy because at the end of the day, at the end of set, you got to go back home with this person. And exactly. so you really need to consider one another and just know that when you're in the moment and being creative, there, there will be times of frustration. There will be times where you, it's just not working out the way you envision it, the way the storyboard calls for it or what have you. And you just have to champion behind that person and say, it's going to work out. We're let's just do our best and, and see what comes of it. Like Jamal is playing two different characters. <laughs> One is a teenage girl. He probably will be upset that I'm saying that, but it is a teenage girl. And the other is a sports commentator. And so if you That's can awesome. imagine him trying to come up with two different voices and him also right. having a voice and playing <laughs> exactly. this teenage girl. All I do is try to motivate him and, and, and offer up suggestions, you know, and whatever happens, whatever gets out there is our best because we have been putting a lot of effort into these characters and, you know, character development is my thing. And so I have to see it in my head first, feel it in my heart and then put it on paper. And then when I connect with the actor, it's so important for me to see it all come together. And I'm just grateful that all of the actors that are participating in this project, they are definitely bringing these characters to life. And most of them, if not all, this is the first time voice acting. For some of them, this is the first time acting. And and it's just important for Jamal and I to be in sync as much as we can, but we're human. But to for, for the others that look up to us or look for us to give them direction, because I feel like we're all on the same playing field. There is no one above, even though I have the, the director's hat, I'm still on the same plane as, as an actor. I don't, I don't view myself as above and no one is ever beneath me. We are all walking this thing out together. And so, but even as Jamal and I are a husband and wife and we are executive producers with Keon, we still have to mature and just learn to grow together in this and, and give each other grace. I love that. It sounds like um, another way to put it is like best idea wins. Yes. As we've heard, you know, in, in film and in TV, and there are a lot of different ideas and heads involved in the creative process. So long as the best idea wins, you know, it's it's in the best interest of everyone, the creators and the audience to defer to that, to champion that. And I love that I've watched Jamal champion you for for years. You know, he he's, you know, kind of a, an inspiration uh, to me, you know, to, to, to be able to build something like that family wise and creative wise, you know, one day in, in my season. Um, so I just, I applaud you both in that because, you know, I've only done half of what y'all have done. I heard tell marriage is not easy. Mm -hmm. I know creep filmmaking is also not easy, but I only know that realm. So I really appreciate, you know, how you guys model that to the best of your ability 
um, as you build this together. Um.